Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Course. This is the second in our series of videos this week about Stanley Park and in this one we're going to just have a brief look at some of the history of it because it's a, a really interesting spot and it's, it's past goes back ever such a long way and some really interesting stuff there's ever such a lot more than we're going to cover in this short video but it's just too nice to march morning to miss it so <clears throat> um i'll pop you the link in the description to the page on our live blackpool website that tells you much more about it and gives you much more detail and you can have a look at that at your leisure so we're near the main the main hub of activity i suppose you'd call it so this is this is the main drive here where you can see the cars parked and that takes you to the, to the main entrance. Did you know that Blackpool Football Club was based at the athletic grounds at Stanley Park from 1897 to 1899? No, we didn't either. And even though we're only about a mile and a half away from Blackpool Tower, this 300 acre park is like a a little oasis of green countryside. It opened on the 2nd of October 1926. And just before we move off from this point here, I'll just show you the visitor centre, which is at, at this side. And the visitor centre opened on the 24th of August 2005. And that was opened by the 19th Earl Derby. And it was on the 2nd of October 1926 when, oh, I'll let you work it out, the 17th Earl of Derby, Sir George Edward Villiers Stanley, opened Stanley Park. So there's a, there's a, family, there's a family tradition there. And actually, in July 2017, for uh, at their big commemoration event, the Friends of Stanley Park replayed the opening event with a, a big a big public event and the, the current Earl of Derby replayed the opening with a big golden key and everybody dressed up. It was a really, really lovely day. There's some photos of it on our Live Blackpool Facebook page on, on the, the link in the description. So this is the Art Deco Cafe beautiful building that it is and we're going back to 1921 when Stanley Park first first was sort of planned and conceived and a former Blackpool mayor Sir Albert Lindsay bought the land to develop a park and here's another well-known Blackpool name for you because T.H. Mawson and Son designed it they were the they were the designers and I've got the sun right in the middle of the camera because it's a morning and that's where the sun is <laughs> as it comes round. Sorry about that. Um, so of course we've got the, the, the golf course which is sort of behind us where we're standing now. That was, that was designed by Harry Cott and Alistair McKenzie and they also designed Royal, Royal Lytham and St Anne's golf course as well. So this is the Italian gardens in the centre here um, and the park radiates around this, it sort of forms the, the, hub of the, the hub of the gardens and straight in front of us is the Cocker Clock and that's named after Blackpool's first mayor who was Dr William Cocker. These are copies of original Medici lions. Um, I can't quite remember where the originals went. I think they were given back to, to where they came from, but th that's, that's in the article, so have a look at that. You need to, you need to just have a look at that and see, see what that came from and where it went to. And it's just lovely on a, a spring morning in March to come and just take a, a walk and enjoy the bird song and the sunshine and the statuary and the beautiful flowers and the sirens. <laughs> There's always a siren. 
There's always a siren when you try to uh, make a video. There's another video in this series as well where we've taken a walk actually around the park to take a look at the facilities that are here today for you to enjoy. Um, so if you look at our Visit File Coast YouTube channel, you'll be able to see see um, that video as well, which is a, a sort of a park tool. So the park itself is named after the father of the guy that opened it in 1926. It's named after the 17th Earl of Derby, Sir George Edward Villiers Stanley. It's named after his dad. And he was the former Governor General of Canada. The 16th Earl of Derby. And between 1885 and 86, the 16th Earl was the first MP for the new parliamentary constituency of Blackpool. And I've got some photographs here as well to show you. I'm going to pop them down on this bench because there's a little bit of a breeze blowing and I don't want everything, everything to blow away. So Stanley Park itself has been grid tool listed since 1995. Are you ready? I'm just going to sit down and show you, show you the park. So this is a map of the park which you'll have seen on the, the other video that we've made this morning. So let's just get the orientation of it right. So this is the main drive as you as you come into the as you come into the park. This is the Italian garden where we are now. And that's the bandstand which is at the back of me. And this is the visitor centre and the cafe which is there. So the Victoria Hospital and the zoo are that way and the sea is that way. So these are the photographs that I was telling you about of the, the part when it was first laid out. So that one dates back to the year dot when the part was actually being laid, first laid out and that's the main entrance gates and the two houses that are at the side of it. And if you think now, that is all solid in, in big mature trees down here. Big, lovely mature trees. And here's another one, a, a colour picture of where we're sitting now, actually. In fact, pretty much in exactly the same spot. Can't actually see Blackpool Tower as I'm looking out now because of the trees, because of the big mature trees that have grown. But it, believe me, it's over there because I've seen it once or twice already. So if I if I lift the the camera up, you can see you can see exactly the same view. Amazing. So next time next time you're in the area and you you've got a spare half an hour, come and have a look at Stanley Park. Have a look at the the article on our website and have a look at the pictures of it back in the day and see how how it looks now um, and, and enjoy this lovely this lovely resource hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to visit file coast we'll see you later bye for now